Welcome both. Thanks for joining us. Rihanna, start with you. What did you make of it last night? It was so bizarre and horrible to watch. It was really horrible and so unexpected. I think people have this real kind of idea of Will Smith being this avuncular, charismatic, lovely, charming guy. To see him, to see the fury on his face in those moments when he's shouting back at Chris Rock on stage and then of the outburst of violence. I don't think anyone, this is sort of unprecedented, really. <clears throat> A fear? I mean, there is history, isn't there, between uh, Will Smith and Chris Rock? Oh, yes, and between Jada as well. You know, in the Oscars, I think it was 2017 when Chris Rock hosted, that was the year of Oscars So White, and Jada Pinkett chose, Jada Pinkett Smith chose to boycott the Oscars, and in turn, Chris Rock spent most of the night making jokes about her. But that is no excuse for the violence that we saw on display last night. We've got no, there's no excuse for Chris Rock's joke either. It wasn't a joke. You don't make fun of someone for a medical illness. In this case, it's Jada Pinkett Smith of alopecia it was completely unnecessary for him to do that and on another level you know he has made a documentary called good hair which is about black women and afro hair and the struggles that they face with their afro hair so he is well placed to know these struggles but yet chose to make fun of a black woman on an international stage in front of millions of people i am so tired of seeing black women being dragged in this way it's completely unnecessary it doesn't excuse what will smith did in any way but i can understand why he got so upset yeah and rihanna i mean it seemed as if will smith was initially responding with a laugh at the joke at first and then you saw his wife's reaction and she did a fairly obvious eye roll didn't she i mean it was clear what she thought of all that yes it's really interesting though isn't it that we are this we are talking about a black woman's feelings and yet it all comes down to the two men fighting about it mm. we just heard a caller in to jeremy vine saying that chris rock should have run the joke past will smith because of his misses. I mean, you know, the way that we're talking about female autonomy in this is really bizarre. Mm -hmm. We will kind of need to know what Jada Pinkett Smith is feeling and thinking in these moments. Sure, you know, I, I think it's really strange that for some reason people are talking about fighting for women's honor all of a sudden. Why has it become so important? Where was this kind of uproar a few years ago when Polanski had a standing ovation at the Oscars? Where was the outrage about female honor then? This is just kind of, it feels incredibly old fashioned. I don't think either of them were in the right in any capacity. And it, what's a real big shame is that it's massively overshadowed from some historic wins at this year's Oscars. Why aren't we talking about Riz Ahmed winning for the long goodbye? Why aren't we talking about Ariana DeBose winning as one of the first openly queer women mm -hmm. for West Side Story. And instead, it all just boils down to something so uh, oh, ridiculous. It makes me mad. It really does. Yeah, it's just so sad on every level, really, isn't it? I mean, and we will be talking about how the Oscars did break ground, actually, and, and did some very interesting things in its awards. But I want to pick up uh, some of our viewers because they've been writing in and letting us know what they think of the whole affair. Yeah, what do you think? And it Danny? certainly touched a nerve for tonight, Sean. Uh, David from Watford says making fun of someone's medical condition is wrong. Chris drew the attention of the whole audience to laugh at poor Jada. This one from Tamsin in London, not impressed with Will Smith. I really liked him before. I think he should lose his Oscar. Violence needs to be punished. Nick Werrett from Hull says, I think Will Smith should be charged for assault. He's basically saying violence is OK. If someone says something you don't like, it is not acceptable. Sammy from Essex says, as an alopecia sufferer, I totally get why Will Smith did that. No one has seen the pain him or his wife has been going through. She shouldn't have people on TV making comments about it. And finally, this one, Nikki in central Scotland. I don't think Will Smith should give up his Oscar. Yes, his slapping and language was a surprise and out of character, but his wife should be out of bounds for comedians. Both Will and Chris were out of order, so that person finding fault with both of them. Oh, dear. Afia, can we pick up that point about Will Smith losing his Oscar with you? What do you think the consequences of this should be, if any? 
I mean, if we're going down the road of Will Smith losing his Oscar, are we also going to take away all of Harvey Weinstein's Oscars, 80 or 84, something like that? Let's keep that same energy. You know, I don't think there's any need for Will Smith to lose his Oscar on this occasion. I think definitely there's a need for him to apologise again and perhaps, unfortunately, apologise to Chris Rock because if you're going to consider him a role model, that's what a role model would do. You know, own up to what you've done, do it with your chest and hopefully you can learn from this. But I don't think there's any need to strip him of his Oscar on this occasion at all. OK, Rihanna, can we celebrate some success here? Yeah, let's not leave the Oscars just about this, this event. What are the highlights for you? I was really delighted to see Jane Campion winning something for The Power of the Dog, Best Director. And what a shame that it didn't get more. June obviously did incredibly well in the technical categories. And that was also really lovely because... That was a film that audiences went out to the cinemas to see, so it would have felt like they were being listened to. Um, and as I said, Ariana DeBose, I was so delighted because I thought she stole every single scene that she was mm, in yep. in Steve Spielberg's West Side Story. What a phenomenon, what a kind of discovery Ariana DeBose is. And she gave such a beautiful speech as well. And as I said earlier, Riz Ahmed, if you've not seen his short film, The Long Goodbye, it's available on YouTube. And he, it's, he's such a, it's a kind of a great pleasure to celebrate somebody like him who's been working in the industry for an incredibly long time. And to finally see him recognised in some capacity is a real joy. OK, and shout out as well to Coda, which won Best Film and just celebrates uh, people who are deaf. So Rihanna Dillon and Afia Hagen, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you. Thank you. NHS staff are working hard to clear up the backlog caused by the pandemic, but it's a huge task. Figures at the end of January showed 6.1 million people were on a waiting list for treatment in England, with more than 310,000 waiting more than a year. Well, a new hospital is opened in Berkshire, hoping to show how the problem can be dealt with. And our health correspondent, Catherine Jones, has been to visit. Thank you very much, indeed. I really appreciate it. Mahinda has been struggling to walk for a year and a half. Today, her long-awaited toe operation finally went ahead. Last uh, appointment when I came, I...